I'm at the townhouse of 1075. It's very cute outside. There is one covered parking spot right here. Walk in. So, the stairs that you walk up to, that takes you up to the second level, where there is two bedrooms and a bath. To the right, or sorry, to the left here, is a wood burning fireplace. Really quaint little area. There's a downstairs area too, which is a flex space. On the right side of the main floor is where you would have a kitchen table. And there's your little U-shaped kitchen. Has granite countertops, which is really nice. Stainless steel appliances. This window does face out the front. Right here is where your pantry would be. There is a little area off to the off the kitchen which would be a nice little patio area exterior gate this is where your hot water tank is located as well as your electrical panel it's a very very nice little area in here We'll go downstairs first. So you go down five, five treads and there is a small bedroom downstairs. And a second bath. Does only Corner shower, but a single vanity and a toilet. Looks like an upgraded toilet. The tile is in decent condition. Here is that flex space that I was talking about. up the stairs. We'll go up to the second level or the upstairs level. The bathroom is at the top part of the It does need a little love. So this has two doors to go into it. So this would kind of be the ensuite to the bedroom at the top of the stairs to the right. Has a fan. Decent closet space. Okay. 
Here's the look of the room when you walk in. And across the hall is bedroom number three. advantage when you come out of your bedroom. Go downstairs. And I missed and the lower level by the flex room is where you can have in suite washer and dryer stackable. So it's a cute little house. Um, let me know if you'd like any more information on it.